Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be curating the balloon centerpieces using three colors, all by Tub Text. We have cocoa, fog, and mint. So let's get started. the centerpiece as um, a cluster and then I'm going to add like five inch four inch balloons on the outside of their cluster so I'm going to make a cluster of 12 balloons and um, because I had three colors and I just wanted to be like evenly dis distributed uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> I just laugh when I'm nervous so I'm going to um, do four colors um uh, four balloons from each color so i have an even 12 and i'm going to use my balloon sizer um just because i just want to be like um i just want the balloons to be the same size um for this so i because it will be like seen from all angles i just want it to be the same size i don't know so that's what i'm going to do I'm going to use the 8 inch on my balloon sizer and I got this from Amazon. I'm going to link um, everything in the description box what I'm using today. Um, so that's, let's get started with making the cluster. I'm going to take two duplexes and mix them together. I just want to get some mint in there. And then I'm going to take another one, mix these together, twist these together. And then I have two quads. So now I'm going to take my quad and mix them together. So you just want it to be real tight. You want your center, I hope you guys can see this, but you just want the center to be all met in the middle in a nice tight cluster. And now I'm going to take this, twist these two together, and then I'm going to mix, um, twist my last quad in here, and this will make a cluster of 12 balloons. I just want to move um, this brown around, make sure it's not like all touching each other. I want the color to be like seen on all angles. So just moving it around. Like balloons are very durable. So um, just twist them around. And this is what the cluster looks like. So now I count it already. So when this goes on the stand, so it'll go in like this or something like that. Um, I first counted like I have 16 holes that I want to fill with um, five inch, four inch balloons. Um, and this was just filling them in with one. I don't know if I want to do like one balloon on each hole or if I want to make like a duplex. I know I don't want to make like a cluster of three. It just looked like too much. So I may just do one or two. I'm going to see how the two look. And if I like the two, I'm going to do the two. If not, then I'm going to just do one balloon. But so far, this is what we have. And what I'm going to do is, so for the five inch, I have five inches in each color. Um... And for the five inches, because I want the, um, you know, because it's a centerpiece, you can, there's many ways you can do this. You can add glue dots on the five inch and just stick it in there. However, when I walk away from, you know, an event or anything I'm doing, I just don't want to walk away thinking like, oh my God, I hope the balloon don't fall off. So for me, I'm going to blow, um, inflate the five inch balloons. And I have these 160 Q balloons. Um, this is by Sempertex and Coffee. Um, they was brown, so I just grabbed these. Um, I already had them, but I just used these because they were brown, so it matched the, the theme of everything. Um, but I'm going to tie either one balloon or two balloons 
on the 160Q on, I'm going to cut them in half. And I'm going to tie one or two balloons on each um, end. And then I'm going to just wrap it around the balloon and put them in the holes. And that way, I know that they're not going to go anywhere once I walk away. And they'll be sturdy. Um, all that powder. Have I seen it? I don't know. <laughs> But that way I know when I walk away from doing, um, you know, um, the centerpieces that nothing is going to fall apart. Everything is pretty much tight. Like you see this cluster is like so tight together. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. Whew, if I can get up. <clears throat> All right. So if you guys can see right there, like in the middle, it's so tight. Like the cluster is not, it's not going anywhere. So this is a really safe and secure way um, to make these centerpieces. So it's so cute. And I have these teddy bear, teddy bears. I have one teddy bear that I ordered because I'm going to make, um, of course, like the centerpiece with the stand and things like that. We're going to get into that later, but let's get started on the mini cluster. All right, so before we get started on the five-inch balloons, I want to put the cluster onto this thing so this is a not like a not lamp stand that i got from walmart and i just took the it comes with six poles so these are just only two poles and i put a piece of gaff tape on top because it's sharp up here and i don't want it to pop the balloon um and i don't know if i'm gonna use two poles or three i'm gonna see once i get um the teddy bear come and see how it looks and if it's maybe if the bear too big i may have to add a third one um, but for now, I'm going to just do two because I just want to put the balloon up here just so I can add these five inches on while it's um, on top of the stand. So to do that, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take just a regular 12-inch balloon. Uh, and I'm just going to put a hole in it. So we have a little hole in it. And I'm going to take a full 160 balloon. And I'm going to push it through. I lost my hole. All right. Let's see. All right. I lost my hole. Let's just do another one. All right. So I'm going to keep the scissors through it. And here we go. So we put this through the hole, you see this? And we just wanna tie this twice. So it'll look something like this. So something like this, tie that twice. And now we just wanna slide this on to the pole. So we have it like this. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put the balloons onto the hole and you can take both of them or you can just take one and we're just going to lasso it around lasso 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 around and that's it it's very tight it's not going anywhere you say it's not going anywhere at all like nowhere <laughs> it's not going anywhere though so now that we have this on here nice and sturdy uh, we're going to get started on making our clusters um, and I, I still don't know how I want to fill in the holes I don't know if I want to do one balloon or duplex, maybe even three. I even made like the three. We're gonna see. So we're gonna be using all colors to do this. And we have our sizer if we need it. So it has, and this sizer is so cheap. It be falling apart, but whatever. It gets the job done. You just gotta keep putting it in. Um, we have the two inch, three, four, and five. I'm definitely not using the five. I'll be using like the two and the uh, the four and the three for the most part. Um, let me see how the two look, but 
So we definitely will be using the four, something small like this. So I'm trying to see if I like the two. The two is not bad. Let's try a two. And I just want to show you guys how I'm going to do this and tie it on to the 160. And let's just do like a one. So we have our 160. We cut it in half. We're going to tie this on. And I just tied it to the middle, just like that. And then we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna tie this on to the end. And then we have this. So what we're gonna do to add this on here, we can just find any balloon. We're gonna take this under, wrap it under, crisscross it. We can put one right here and put this one right here or leave this up here. We can even move this around to right here, however way you wanna do it. And that's how that will look. Very sturdy, you can walk away, nothing's gonna happen and that's it. So I don't know, let me see. I like the two. The two is not bad. So we can do probably two and ones. I like that. Yeah. So I'm going to go off camera and finish the rest. Um, but I think I'm going to do the two and one. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I like that. All right. So I finished adding the um, five inch, well, I use four inch sizer for the balloons. Um, I did end up doing the um, the two duplex on one end and then a single balloon on another end. And I believe I made six pairs of them. And this is how it turned out. Just like that. That's how that looks. For the bottom, I um, um, tied three balloons together. And then I did another duplex. And I just twisted that together. So created like five of these. And then I did another set of five inch balloons. Um, I did three and then I did two. And that's how that look. Just like that, like an organic bottom. And now we're gonna add the teddy bear on. Just wanna show you up close. So the teddy bear on the arm, I added the 160 and I tied it. And then we just gonna tie it up cause I wanted to like cover the pole. Um, because the pole was black, but I just wanted to cover the pole. I was too lazy to like spray paint or anything else. So I just want to cover the black pole. So I'm going to have it like sit on top of this and then tie it up. I'm going to try to figure that out now. So let's get started with that. Sit right up here on this balloon because I want to just cover the pole as much as I can. So I'm just going to wrap it. Like 
me tie it up and then I'll see how I'm going to position it. So it's tied up. Now let's just see how we want to position it. Okay, I like that. And I try to hide it a little bit with the five inch, like the, the hand. But for the most part, I like it. So what I did, let me see if I can show you guys up close. Um, I tied it at the hand and then I used the same 160 when I took it up, I wrapped it around the balloon. Then I brought it down and wrapped it around the neck. <laughs> so feel so bad for the teddy bear. I'm sorry. And then I wrapped the this around the neck and around the pole right here. And that way it's pretty. See, I'm pulling on it. It's not going anywhere. So hanging like that. And that's how that looks. This is the final look, guys. Um, this is how everything turned out. I am really happy with it just because it's so sturdy. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the description box. And I see you in the next video. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be creating a balloon centerpiece. Um for hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be creating a balloon centerpiece like the balloon topiaries um so let's get started no 